Hi, this is Driver Lady Pro. The reason why they call me Driver Lady Pro is because I can drive like a boss, but I try to stay classy like a lady. I am here with Bam Bam. If you guys don't know who Bam Bam Bam, Bam, Bam is, it, he has a YouTube channel also. Please go to his channel. He is Dark Road Runner, not to be um, confused with Dark Road Run because Dark Road Run is also an awesome channel, but Bam Bam has an awesome channel. He is from New Orleans. We are we are having our beers, Angry our Orchard. Angry Orchard, and um, we're sitting back, relaxing. We're not driving. I know we are in a car, but we are not gonna be driving, and we're only drinking one, so we're all right. I know some people are concerned. So today what we're going to be talking about is the differences between the way the riders are treated and the way the drivers are treated as far as deactivation standards. So um, why don't you tell your, what you were talking about earlier? Oh, yeah. Um, so we're, just, we're, we're having a good conversation about how um, there's different standards for like reports of you know like sexual harassment you know it's like there's um um you know so so a rider can say you know that um that oh the super driver touched me and we're automatically deactivated right yep. automatically deactivated but then there are other times when uber doesn't necessarily take sexual harassment so seriously and it's like you know it's like you know rather than automatic deactivation it's a you know Automatic response, oh, we're not going to pair you with that person ever again. You know, it's like, why why, why is there a difference there? Like, why why is there a different standard for riders and drivers, you know? Yeah, like, there should be the same. It should and be investigated to the, to, the, to the fullest amount, you know? Yeah, because it's illegal. Either way, it's illegal. You know, whether it's a passenger doing it or it's a driver doing it, it's illegal. And, and nobody, the, the passenger should be deactivated and never allowed back on the the app again yeah yeah i mean it's just it's it's like i said in my video from yesterday like between between um like a year and a half of driving in new orleans new orleans is a big single people city it's a very you know so think about it. you go to a bar to get hitched and um you know you take a shot you close out your tab who is the last person that you see us Right? Yeah, the, the and Uber where, driver. And where are we ta <laughs> where are we taking them? Home. Home. Hopefully the home. <laughs> you know, so I've had probably fifty. Probably, I've probably dealt with fifty sexual advances between both men and women. Yeah. Between both, you know, and it's like I have a video coming in the next couple of days of some footage that I saved where I recorded this girl because, well, you know, she she wouldn't stop touching me, and then like you know. Why am I not pretty enough? Why wouldn't you make out me right now? Like, I saved the footage, and I'm going to post it because, you know, I, I, I initially recorded it in case she tried to say that I did anything inappropriate. You can clearly see in the video I did. And if anything, I, I really held my cool. Like, I really held my cool in the video, uh, as fake as I might have been. I really was as nice as possible. But, like, you know, you report them, and it's like, oh, we're not going to pair you with them anymore. And then I had another time where... Um, I did report one, and uh, Uber called me 12 minutes later. Oh, really? 12 minutes later, they called me, and they wanted to know the, the full story, and they said that they said that they were going to contact her about it, but she's going to deny it. And no, then, then the problem it. is that she's going to make another – she she's going to use a different card, and she's going to make another mm -hmm. personality, and she can be somebody else. Yeah. That's, that's the sad thing. Yeah. And then she can do it again to somebody else. That's a sad thing. Yeah. But I do know, um, I have heard it from the grapevine, Uber is trying to deactivate some of these passengers with low ratings. But I feel, I personally feel inside they need to do something more. I feel inside that they need to train their, their the people on the phones. To yeah, handle, that would definitely, that would definitely handle help these situations. I think I really would like to, instead of just saying, well, we won't pair you with anyone anymore, I think they need to have a, a training so that they can talk to these people right after they've been molested or something and say, okay, we have these things, 
we can hook you up with. Um, do you want to go to the police and, and please give us a police report? They need to have these people trained in, in to talk to you, you know? I, I mean, I've always said this. Like, we we have to pass a background check. We never yeah. know who we're picking up. All you need to call on Uber and Lyft is an app and a credit card. That's it. Yeah. You know, so I do think there tends to be, there should be some type of screening for the for the riders. Yeah. You know, yeah. especially in a city like, you know, well, Chicago could be dangerous in certain areas too, but, you know, New Orleans, like, you never, you never know what you're getting. Never. I mean, it could be anything. Driving in that city is like, especially in certain areas, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, you know, put it this way. If you look up, Uber driver gets robbed. Right. The last time I did it was like, I don't know, six months ago. But if you look up Uber driver gets robbed, there's over 200,000 search results. Wow. Like, where is that? You know, it shouldn't it, it shouldn't there? be it. That shouldn't be happening. Right. Right. Yeah. It, it shouldn't happen. Yeah. And the problem is, is I know Uber is a newer company, so we need to keep in mind we need to have changes. You know. Right. And it just seems like the changes with Uber are all unproductive. If they yeah. can, like, don't you just wish that they were a fair company, that they would just, you know, just kind of, you know. Instead uh, of giving you canned answers, yes, we are listening. They would actually hear us. Right, right. <laughs> and know what it is. Like, you know, I don't know. It's just, I wish that they would be a fair company. I'm not going to stop track because of how much I, I enjoy it. I yeah. really enjoy it, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to stop driving, you know, but, you know, essentially, you know, what, what, what we all want, I think we all can agree, is that, like, we just want Uber to just kind of, like, just get your shit together as a company. Yeah, and stop, I think they should stop sending canned answers and actually do something about it, you know? If they stop doing, sending can, canned answers and they actually, you know said, okay, well, we'll look into that, and actually looked into it. Right, right. You know? Um, so, uh, before this video, she was telling me about some scams that, uh, that are going on, and she was actually kind of teaching me a few of them. I, 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 honestly, I'm okay with, like, learning right here, right now. I kind of want to know about, a little bit more about these, uh, these, these new, this new fad of scams that are, that are, that are kind of coming out. I know the canceling mid-trip one. That's yeah. Well, what Uber's doing is that if, if you get called by any company, whether you're a DoorDash or you're a Grubhub, or, and they say they're Uber or they say they're DoorDash or they say they're Grubhub or HubGrub or whatever their name is, I always get it mixed up. <laughs> um, don't feed out the information. That is the, the number one way to stop from getting scammed. But what they're doing is they're having somebody, a planned person, ride in your car, okay, and then they are calling and saying you have to stop because they're like this person might be handicapped and, and we need to send somebody else that can drive them, okay? So you need to stop. And then they're saying, are you really, um, say my name, Mandy Martinez, are you really, are, are you sure you are who you are? You need to go to your, um, your email right now and you need to click on our link and make sure you um validate who you are and then and you need to give us your email address blah blah and uber will never ask you for personal information none of the you do not ever give your person uber doordash any of them the irs those irs scams they ask you for personal information don't give out any personal information easy as that yeah, because what they're doing is they're get the the person in the car. They're saying we don't know if you are who you are, or they're saying you we need to send somebody out to pick them up, drop them off right now. Are they uh, okay? It's just my ignorance of this. Are they maybe is is somebody else calling for? Yep. Like the it's Uber. A, or no, is this somebody in the back that's, that's Uber. emailing Uber while they're no. in the car? No. No, these are scammers, and they are saying that they're Uber, or they're saying that they're DoorDash. And um, sometimes they give you a text message, or sometimes they'll call you on the phone. This is Uber, 
And then they will ask you personal information. What is your email address? What is your um, password? What do you, don't give your password out. No. Right? Don't. No. Never. No. Never no. give out your password. You call Comcast. Comcast doesn't even know your password. But they will try to do, like, personal, you know, they'll try to do, and they will say things to you like, oh, you're doing such a good job. Okay. Um, no to self. Uber will never tell you you're doing <laughs> such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe... Maybe Dara, with this happiness, all his happiness, everything's well. He can't even drive well. The drivers are so successful, you know. Yeah, but but he can't Maybe even drive. Maybe Dara, you know. Did, did you see that presentation where he tried to drive around and he couldn't yeah. even do the navigation? He couldn't even do it. And then he puts it all over the internet, and he doesn't realize that it's just making the, the drivers more pissed off. Yeah, that yeah. that was look. You better remember that, Dara. Remember when you were when you were like, "Oh shit, I missed the turn." It's like that feeling right there in that video. That feeling. You better yeah. remember that, like, because that's how it feels to miss a turn. You know, yeah. except except yeah. you're quicker to deactivate us than you, you are yourself. Right, exactly. <laughs> than you are yourself. He's got like a three point two rating. Does he really? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying oh, that's what gosh. he should have because he probably <laughs> he lost so many points in that video that he you know he lost so many stars in that video. The I only mean, way that I would give Dara five stars if I picked him up to be handing me a hundred dollar bill. That, that's I mean, you know, it's just because if you're if you're judging us with this judging system, like I'm judging you as the CEO, kind of. I mean, it's it's. That's what it is. It's a judging system. It's a form of judging system. I don't like judging yeah. people in the first place, but you make us judge people after every trip, you know, and it's, you know, I, I, I don't like doing it. Some people deserve it. Some, there are very few that deserve it. And Dara, I don't think you're doing such a, your drivers aren't happy, man. They're not happy. I mean, you're, you're definitely not as, everyone knew that Travis Kalanick was a pile of, you know, it wasn't good. We'll put it that way. Um, but, but Dara's Dara's not much. There's he's the same, but then he pretends that he's better. Yes, yes. And and we're not stupid. No, we're gonna give you a new, a brand new app, a brand new. Yeah, app. Yeah, where's it's our raise? Gonna, it's not gonna surge. <laughs> the ocean's not gonna surge anymore. I think I have enough sense to not drive in the freaking ocean lake or the ocean <laughs> or the Mississippi. Yeah. You know, I think it's like, what? Well, oh, the ocean's surging. Let's drive right in. You know. <laughs> I want to go. It's five times search in the ocean. Have you ever? Have, wait, wait, did you drive on uh, um, it um, at uh, uh, what is it? The um, the talk on it. Navy Pier. Did you drive down to Navy Pier and see all the surge all around? Uh, yeah, I don't think I've been in Chicago long enough. You haven't been to Navy Pier in Chicago? I mean, uh, not driving in Chicago. I haven't oh, been driving okay, in Chicago. okay. It's, it's only been since, like, July. I've been on with Lyft, and only last week my Uber app tra finally transferred. Um, so, I mean, there hasn't really been, like, a big, like, Halloween, I'll probably see. What's yeah. Mean. Well, they took the surge out of the ocean, though. So, oh, you know cool. what I mean? Navy Pier, you, but it'll happen in the Lyft app. You could check in it on the Lyft app. It does happen. Yeah. Just about to say It'd be that like the surge in the ocean. On, on or in the um Lake Michigan on the on the lift app. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say it. that after you finished your thought, but it, we had the same thought. <laughs> it, it does, it does, you know. And it's like I think I had enough sense not to drive in the lake. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm not gonna. All right, you know. But. Okay. Well, this video is getting long. Thirteen right. minutes. Oh, we're at thirteen already. Yeah. So it hustle hard, but hustle smart. And if you don't, go home broke. Beat. Deuces, y'all. <laughs>